Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. We are in the truck right now, and I am following Chris. I am driving my pickup truck, the F-250, towing the Kubota tractor with Woodmax chipper on it. It's the PTO chipper. And we are headed to a side job. Now, Chris is up ahead here in the International, and he has on the back of the flatbed the Balmolite Mini Skid Steer with a new attachment that we have not yet used, and I am pretty excited to try this bad boy out. Um, you might be able to tell, it's a stump grinder. Now, in addition to trying out this new stump grinder, Chris is driving the International truck, not for the first time, but he's driving it for the first time all the way to a job. He's driven it around the house and you know around town before practicing. Uh, he, I've been kind of teaching him how to drive stick, um, and he's doing a good job so far. We're only about two miles away from the house. We got about 21 miles to go, so we'll see how Chris does, and we'll check back in when we get to the job. All right, so we're here. Did you stall the truck? No, you almost, didn't. Almost, almost. Oh, very close. Well, you almost yeah. stalled it where I almost stalled it like countless times when I was first learning to drive yeah. that truck. But so uh, I, as you all know, I've never really driven a truck solo like that before, uh, manual anyway. Um, there was just like a little bit of an incline at a stop of a four-way intersection, and I think I got a little overzealous with the gas and uh second gear the gas to clutch ratio yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so no big deal practice makes perfect anyway guys we're here at the job this is the tree that's coming down um it's really not all that big it's a maple uh so the plan is we're gonna put a rope in it and just drop the whole thing into the yard over here there's nothing really to obstruct it going to uh limit up and chip up the brush. They're gonna keep all the wood in log form. We're gonna stack that up. And then we got a couple stumps, you know, like remnants of some bushes over here. Um, these guys, we're gonna grind the stump of the tree as best we can. Now, there's a lot of rock here, obviously, so we're gonna have to try and move some of the rock to get the machine in. And then I'm hoping that we can get up in here and kind of dust these stumps down a little bit. Um, but that is a pretty steep incline there, and there's some rock, so we might have to use the wicked grapple to kind of move some stuff around to get the machine in. But that's the plan. That's the tree. Here we go. This thing fits like a glove. Now this is the Balmolite S16 stump grinder. You will see this in action a little later. All right, Chris got the throw line up. He's pulling through the pull rope. Um, he's got it through a nice big crotch up there. Uh, if you can see it, kind of hard to see. But uh, we're gonna tie it at the base and then yank it over with the tractor. Chris tying a bowling on a bite. This is how we uh, typically pull stuff over with the grapple, go around the bar, and hook it back to the tooth, and uh, should be good to go. Uh-uh. 
Every notch tells a story. The face cut was a little crooked, back cut perfectly level, but you can see we still had quite a bit of good hinge wood here. Directed the tree right to where we wanted it. Nice and easy to pull out with the tractor now.
Well, all right, guys, things are going very well here. We are moving right along the whole tree, cleaned up, chipped up, blown. Um, we just used the tractor with the wicked grapple to rip out the stumps that were over here just because we weren't gonna be able to get the balmalite with the stump grinder up in here. It's just too, you know, rough and uh, rocky and the you know, tractor has a much longer reach as far as, you know, out in front of the tires than the mini skid does. So there was one little juniper bush that um, had to be sacrificed in order to get the machine there. But we got, as you can see, three barberry, you know, stumps out. It's like a pricker bush and then two Atlantis uh, stumps out. And these Atlantis guys, if you don't know, if you've heard of spotted lanternfly, Atlantis trees are thought to be a host tree for the spotted lanternfly. So um, if you guys have these trees on your property, it's highly recommended to cut them down. They are kind of a junky invasive species anyway and they're thought to be i mean research has proven and you know i can tell you firsthand the spotted lantern flies love those junky trees we take them down every time we can see them and uh, this homeowner had the uh you know wherewithal the foresight to cut them down herself uh, because she did some research and and knew that they were an issue identified them on her property um, so that's awesome so just to let you guys know psa cut down atlantis trees visibility since it's so far out in front of you I think I'm definitely gonna have to get used to using it um, so I'm gonna be relying on you kind of to like give me eyes especially because you'll see there are lots of rocks around this thing I mean we pulled out as many of the ones that we could but you know some of these just aren't gonna move so I don't want to destroy the teeth so we're gonna get as much of it as we can
that was a great first pass and first use of the bombalite with the stump grinder on it. Uh, as you can see, we got most of this below grade. Uh, we don't want to go too deep just because of all the rocks, um, but she will be able to cover most of this stump up with topsoil and it'll just degrade. Uh, we do have this one high point and that one root left. And uh, so Jake's gonna bring it back up here. Yeah, guys, that, that worked pretty well. I mean, this is uh, literally the first stump that we've done with this stump grinder. I mean, Chris and I grind stumps all the time with purpose-built stump grinders. But, um, you know, there's a lot going on here compared to a regular stump grinder. You're kind of holding on to the back. Um, you gotta deal with your, your boom up and down and the angle of, of the, the stump grinder itself. The visibility isn't fantastic just because of where it's mounted. And I mean, this stump is, this would be tough like with any stump grinder, but especially this because you're holding on and it's uphill, there's rocks everywhere. It's not really even. So thankfully Chris was here to give me some eyes, but I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I have never seen a stump grinder, even with brand new teeth, create grindings like this. Like you guys know when you sharpen a, a chainsaw really sharp, it makes nice like spaghetti. I guess, you know, same with a stump grinder. Like these teeth are, uh, th have you ever seen anything like that? No, never like that. Yeah, it's, I've it's, also it's, never seen a tooth like in this shape. Usually they're just one little tooth, but these are like full circle, um, Full circle teeth for whatever reason. Yeah, so I think Balmolite has their own proprietary teeth, which is pretty cool. Um, looking at them now, I mean, these things are are sharp. Uh, so, and I believe you can flip them too, so that, you know, because basically only the bottom side of the tooth is, is really ever cutting. So when it's done, you can flip it 180 degrees and get, you know, more life out of your teeth. So this is what's left of the stump. You can see there were uh, a couple rocks buried in there, but uh, you know we're not gonna try and mess with these roots coming out over here. Got the most of it down. Hopefully at some point they'll probably come in and cover all this up with topsoil anyway. But uh, client asked us to leave the grindings. What do you think of that thing? I think it's a pretty cool machine. Definitely. Uh gonna take some getting used to and not ideal for a hillside stump yeah hillside stump um, was probably biting off more than we could chew <laughs> for the first one but you know yeah it's pretty typical dude ranch yeah <laughs> You might notice I added on the counterweight kit here, um, which totally blocks the, uh, the tie down point there to you know cinch this machine back. Now they do send you a bolt on tie down point in the back there, but you know it's just held on with like three grade five bolts on either side. So I'm not thrilled about that. Um, we might have to at least replace those with grade eight bolts because I think this, for jobs like this, where we don't need the chip box and stuff, <laughs> transporting this machine on the back of this truck, not having to use a trailer is like awesome. Um, so, hey doggy. So uh, yeah, and then we gotta figure out some sort of ramp thing because the height of this is about like nine, 10 inches. I mean, we were putting four by fours underneath the tracks to just help get it up a little bit. But it wasn't quite enough, they're not long enough. So I'm thinking about maybe getting some of those like rhino ramps or the, the car ramps that you uh, used to like drive the front end of your car up onto if you want to do your own oil change, just to uh, help get this thing up on and off. And you know, we could just strap them in at the front of the bulkhead here on the flatbed. But yeah, this is Bomalite TRL 620D with the new Bomalite S16 stump grinder. Cool thing about this stump grinder is that the swing function is electric. It's an electric over hydraulic, I think they call it, actuator. So 
the swing function does not steal any or rob any hydraulic flow from the putting wheel itself, uh, which I guess is different than a lot of other mini skid steer stump grinders that do have the swing function, but it utilizes some of the hydraulic flow. So you're ultimately gonna get less hydraulic flow, i.e. less power. This thing is awesome so far. It's definitely gonna take some getting used to just like any piece of equipment. Um, but you know, it got the job done today here in, you know, very short time. All right, we are back. How'd you do cupcake? I did all right. I stalled twice at the same stop sign, like just as we were leaving the job. Yeah, I threw my truck into reverse. Yeah, at, at that was that probably one. a good idea. I, <laughs> I slipped back a little bit. Um, and then I took a couple wrong turns, but Jake saved me on one. I had to save myself on the other, but we made it back. How'd you feel driving the stick? Uh, going down was a whole lot better than coming back. I was terrified about taking a one of the windiest roads in Connecticut. Oh, yeah. Some of those so, roads are pretty gnarly. But yeah. you're here in one piece and you showed up like 30 seconds after me. So. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this video here on the Baumolite S16 stump grinder on the uh, Baumolite mini skid steer. Worked out pretty well. Job went, you know, flawless, right? Yeah. I mean... New client, uh, she was super happy, really into the fact that we were filming the whole thing. I think she got a kick out of that. Um, and yeah, first first side job kind of of the season this year, the, the 2024 tree work season. We got a lot more lined up and a lot of uh, big ones coming up too. So uh, stick around if you like this stuff. As always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. It's Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. See you here next time.